When after Pastor called me, I began to pray and seek the face of God, as all I've been able to do in this position. I said, Lord, if you ever want to get close to God, all get right. hurt. Right. <laughs> get afflicted. All right. You'll get closer to him than, than Mary just about. Wow. I declare y'all will be very intimate because you ain't got nothing else to do. But that's a good thing because sometimes we get so busy in this world that we lose sight on who we are here, what purpose we are to serve here on earth. Amen. But I began to just pray unto God. And he gave me an observation. The first word that comes to mind when hearing freedom is slavery. Mm -hmm. The first person comes to mind would be Harriet Tubman. The first place that comes to mind would be jail. After all the laws are passed, amendments written, access granted, means supplied, and name is on roll. How is it I have yet to gain my freedom in facing charges? God let me know that we can be in the house, a part of the house, have roles and titles, serve positions in the house, but we still have charges that we are facing. My God. When you go to court, and they have the plaintiff, and they have the, the one that's um, given the charges, and you have the defendant, and somebody is being charged with some type of crime. Mm -hmm. Nobody go to court because they're being charged for the good that they did. All right. And even in the house of God, even though some say, I'm saved, I'm sanctified, I'm filled with the precious gift of the Holy Ghost, we still have charges. Oh my God. What do I mean by that? Well, when you think of freedom, freedom is the state of being free or at liberty rather than in confinement or under physical restraint. Then to be confined is unable to leave a place because of imprisonment. And restraint is a bounding action of influence, holding back, controlling, deprived of liberty. Even though I've been saved or even though I've come into the knowledge of Christ, there is still something that holds me back from fulfilling my full purpose. My God. Which causes me to not be free. Now Romans 6, chapter, the third through the seventh verse. If you would go with me to that. That was Romans 6, 3 through 7. And it says, Know ye not that so many of us were baptized into Jesus Christ, were baptized into his death. Therefore we are buried with him by baptism into death, that like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. For if we have be planted, planted together in the likeness of his death, we shall be also in the likeness of his resurrection, knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth, we should not serve sin. Yeah. Hebrews 12 and 1 say, Let us lay aside every weight and the sin which does so easily beset us. Everyone, when we first come into the knowledge of Christ, but even being saved and on the Lord for a certain amount of time, we still struggle with a particular sin. We may be able to let go of fornication, but we just can't stop lying. We may be able to love our neighbor, but we backbite. We may be able to let boyfriend go, but I still can't let best friend go, even though best friend stands for something totally different from what I'm now in. All right. But we have to first be able to acknowledge that sin. Mm -hmm. Then break the restraints of confinement then we have no reason to worry about facing charges. My God. 
we still talking about freedom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, back in school, when they talk about freedom, they're talking about the restraints and being held back, being unable to do things or being told that you couldn't. But that's the same way in the spiritual. Mm -hmm. Sin has no big number and no little number. And a lot of times, we even ministers of God can fall short and end up having to face charges. Right. How is that? Disobedience. All right. And we don't look at the little things or we don't see it as being so big because we are in position or because I have my name on the roll, but you are still not free. My God. Matthew 7... 21 through 23 says not everyone that saith unto me Lord Lord shall enter into the kingdom of heaven but he that doth the will of my father which is in heaven many will say to me in that day Lord Lord have we not prophesied in thy name and in thy name have cast out devils and in thy name done many wonderful works and then will I profess unto them I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. My God. We can still be in the church house, faithful to come into the devotional services, the programs. Yes, I will do the welcome. Yes, I will do the reading, but we are still not free. My God, my God. 